Hello, so like what I said in my previous video, for this one we will focus on finally farming the ultimate armors. Well, the ultimate armor can depend whether you're going for only 9,999 HP or going for more than 70,000 HP. Anyway, in my case, since I am going for more than 70,000 HP, I will be going for the break HP limit ribbon plus two slots armor and dark Jimbo as a possibility of dropping that armor so we will be needing a total of seven for each of our character and dark Jimbo is the perfect enemy or yeah perfect enemy or aeon to farm it because you can fight him four consecutive times and then save then restart your game then fight him four times again repeat rinse repeat as long as you don't fight the fifth dark Jimbo, you will be able to keep on doing that and if you want to dark if you want to farm dark matters then this is also the perfect place to do it now dark Jimbo won't be an easy enemy not to mention that he is what like six on the list with dark valley for being the easiest dark aeon to deal with and you will be needing a lot of preparation for it so against dark Jimbo, you will need to have maximum max strength max defense max agility at least 170 that is basically the max agility okay so in my case i already have my luck at 230 so i don't need evasion accuracy but if you're not going for luck then you will need uh maybe max accuracy and around 130 luck or 80 luck i don't really know but there's there are times because i remember back then not having around not having this luck stat and i had the max accuracy and sometimes dragon gym was still able to evade some of my attacks all right anyway in my case he won't be able to evade any And when going up against Dark Jimbo, we will be needing to utilize Riku's mix overdrive, particularly her Hyper Mighty G, because when she uses Hyper Mighty G, your party will get, or your active party will get, auto life from it. And that is very, very crucial on the first battle since Dark Jimbo will ambush your party. And when he ambushes your party, that means that you won't be able to get a turn, unless. Your characters are using first strike hence we will be having Auron as one of our lead party members because of this masamune which has the first strike ability so basically we'll be getting ambush or gets a turn we switch to riku cast hyper mighty g okay or if you don't want to fight dark Jimbo manually and you have a lot of cash like maybe like what i have 11 million if you don't feel like fighting him manually and you just want to try your luck with your own Jimbo, you can also use the strategy. Just have Auron there, switch to Yuna, Grand Summon. Or if you already have your Jimbo's Arbor Drive full, then just summon, then pay him a lot. I don't know, maybe 500,000, 500,000 we do. Of course, your, compatib your compatibility with your Jimbo would also matter. Okay. Uh, what else? As for our weapons, we will be needing to equip the celestial weapons, of course. But for Riku, for the meantime, I'm just no encounters because on the way there, we might encounter an enemy. I'll just switch later. And then, Dark Jimbo also has a move called Daigor, same as our Jimbo where if it hits one of our party members, he or she will get petrified and break immediately. So you will need to have an armor, stone proof for that. We really have that for Tindus. Unfortunately for Waka, I don't have an armor with stone proof. Like I didn't really think I had. Pretty sure I sold one of it. So we'll just hope that Waka doesn't get hit or Yojimo doesn't target Waka with Daigoro when he does it. Then for Riku, we have soft charge. There you go. And then as for overdrives. We'll be switching previous overdrive mode to Comrade, then Tidus' Toy. Usually, we just go for a Comrade with all three, but for some reason, when I was testing the strategy earlier, 
There were times when Rico's overdrive wasn't charging. I'm not sure what's happening. Like when Yojimbo uses Wakizashi, her overdrive won't charge. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway. So you need to go here first, and then backtrack. First things first, we will try fighting him manually without relying on Zanmato. Because there is also an alternate plan where for the first fight I will Zanmato him and then for the next three ones I will fight him manually. Okay, we're starting with this. Switch Riku to God and Celestial Weapon. Okay, that's enough. Ambushed. Switch to Riku, mix Light Curtain and Gunber Spirit or Lunar Curtain and Gunber Spirit, Hyper Mighty G, Auto Life. Wow, is that okay? That's a good start. We can focus on attacking now. Counter attack with Sirius as well. We get a bunch of turn. I'm not gonna bother on. Passing this spell on Sirius because it will also remove his haste. Kazuka again, okay, on another party member, okay. This is good on us. Okay, sadly, Waka lost the haste status effect thanks to Kazuka. So we will need to recast haste on him. By the way, Kazuka has. An added effect where your party members or the party member that is hit by it will get full break. As you can see there at the lower right corner. Both Waka and Sirius now have power break, mental break, mental, uh, yeah, power break, magic break, mental break, and armor break. So the next time Jimbo attacks them will be a guaranteed kill. I'm thinking of using Entrust on Riku. Hmm. Never see Lavado like. Not even gonna bother. Okay. Feeling weak now, Yujimba. If I use Slice and Dice, how much damage will I, will I be able to deal? Let's see. Hopefully, this doesn't go wrong. Okay. 44k per hit, or 45k on average. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, around 300k. Okay, it's not dead yet. Okay, Daigoro, not Waka, please. Nice, 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 nice. We got this. I'll just remove the poison effect. We got this one now. But I will need to entrust her Riku because I will need her overdrive to be full on our next battle. Now we go quick hit all the way. We should have him now. We've been used slice and dice earlier. There we go. Let's hope that one of them gets a break HP limit armor drop. Even just break HP limit, the ribbon can happen later. That will help us survive a lot. At last, that's for Riku. Is this it? Or are we gonna get a curse proof? No, it's a curse proof. Well, we're getting break HP limit. Let's see. Ooh, it's 29,000. Okay, okay. Nice. That's good. That's actually good. 
I want to save this one. <laughs> Wait. You'll be able to survive his attacks now. Still setting her to comrade. Because Tyrus and Waka will stay at low HP. And so with that, her overdrive will always fully charge most of the time. Or will just fully charge most of the time. Not really guaranteed that it will always be fully charged. Misuse the word always. Okay, let's see. Didn't use Zanmato on Yojimbo. I mean, yeah, didn't use Zanmato on Yojimbo. Maybe it will have a different name when it has a ribbon on. Okay, sadly, she won't be immune to Daigoro anymore. Okay, let's give it a shot. 99,000. She can use Mega Phoenix first or two Phoenix downs and recast Hyper Mighty G. Get some move first. Mix again. We'll just keep on quick hitting. Okay, Kazuka on Waka. It's good. I hope he keeps on using Kazuka. Or Daigoro. If he uses Daigoro, hopefully, and see this. Oh! We need to cast Haze on Waka. That messed me up. Okay, Daigoro. Nice. And Tyrus is the only one who is immune from it. <laughs> okay. Need to cure that. I don't have quick pockets yet. So can't use an antidote. We're getting a lot of turn. Wonder if we have him here. Might not. I think I need one more turn. Or two. But hopefully this is it. Can't use an overdrive. None of them is full. Okay. Why is Ashi? Daigoro. No. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, she didn't break because she was able to survive. I see. Okay. There's no need to re... Wait, I need to entrust her Riku. To prepare for the next battle. She gets a turn. Wait. Weak, um. Theodos in trust. Then Waka cast haste on Riku. Will she get a turn? No. Let's finish it here. Let's just use quick hit. I thought we already have their H. I have. I mean, I thought their HP is already at 36k. Prism Steel. Hmm. We got a weapon drop. Okay. Let's just have you and uh, cure them. As for their MP. 652. That should be alright. So that's the second fight. You might skip the third fight, so make sure you go here because this is where it will be. Overdrive full again for Riku. Okay. So if you lose, if we lose here, it's all right because we have already saved earlier where we got a drop for an for a break HP limit armor for Riku. Start to fight with Hyper Mighty G as always. We're gonna start quick hitting. Okay. Okay. Pull again for Riku. She survived. What's that, Darker Jimbo? 
That's why I can't wait until Tears and Waka get their break HP limit armors. What is that, Draco Jimbo? This makes the fight a lot easier. Because Riku still retains her haste. Not to mention she is getting cured by auto regen. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> Let's just cast haste on Tidus. Yeah, this overdrive is full. Kazuka on Waka. I may need to recast Hyper Might G. Yeah, so to do that, let's use Entrust. Incoming Waka Zashi. there. Deedus and Waka won't be able to survive any attack. Let's hope that Yojimbo doesn't use Waka's Ashi so that our Mega Elixir won't be a waste. Okay. Good. Okay. That's fine. And just use soft. All their her... Auto life disappeared. Let's see. I will need to entrust. Okay, let's adjust. Because I'm not sure if Darker Jimbo will use Wakizashi. Well, now, there you go. Okay, Riku can survive. Yeah, like that one. I don't understand why Waka's overdrive didn't fully charge despite having. Oh! It's because of Riku. She didn't actually. I mean, she was able to survive the attack and. I think he's almost dead. There you go. I was still considering casting haste. I'll pray to the gods that we get our armor. Ooh, ribbon. Hopefully, ribbon and break HP limit. That's for Riku. Ah, it's the cursed, curse proof. Almost there. Uh, ability, Hiraga. Hmm. Okay, MP. Okay, still okay. Oh, because we used Mega Elixir. So one more battle before we go back. Or you can choose to reset. Since we really didn't get the armor that we needed. Would be better to get one so that I can customize auto haste and get an early lead. Now there's no need for us to. And trust Torigo since this is somewhat like our final battle. Hmm. 
Not a Christian. Yeah, why is that shit again? Because HP is also getting low. Maybe we should just use Cetus as slice and dice. At least we get around 250,000 damage. Wow. He really is determined to kill us now. Okay, why did Rigo Silver Drive in charge? This is one of the problems I'm referring to. Well, if we get killed here, that's fine. Okay, let's hope that... I don't have auto life yet. Let's hope that it doesn't use Wakizashi. Okay, Kazuka. Two Waka? You can just revive Waka. Great. I don't have life. <laughs> These three haven't gone to Unisphere Grid. Regimus Overdrive is almost full. I can't have him use Zenmatel because Auto Life won't save us. Should now focus on attacking. We should get him now. Or no? Don't tell me we don't we don't have him yet. Crap. I think we're missing one move. Yeah, we're dead. Anyway, not bad. We got something from the battle. We got something from this set of battles. We'll just reload our game. Oh, the life won't help us here. Zamato disables it. Dark Regime Boy is special too because he's the only Aeon. He's the only Dark Aeon that you fight five times. And meanwhile, Dark Ixion, you need to fight twice. Let's see, Riku, 29,000. There you go. Already got the most of HP. Ah, this ones. Waka got this ones, that's why. Okay. So, same earlier. Or in Waka to do Masamune. No encounters first. Then he will be back trying to ambush us. not going for 100% like every trophy then we really only need to use Waka and Riku to deal with all of the Dark Aeons and Penance but if you want the Platinum Trophy like near perfection for every character then you'll need to do you'll need to farm Dark Regime a lot Comrade Stoic Riku Garden
I really need the Rewan on Rigo too. Or we can customize Stone for Fear for the meantime to make it easier. Well, what is that? Really can catch a break. Don't tell me this that moment where we'll keep on using Wakizashi. If that's the case, then might as well use TDS Overdrive. Let's just make Elixir. So that we can survive whatever attack. I mean, not whatever attack. Everything except Wakizashi. Good, it attacks you this. It's in our favor. We get a free turn of quick hits. Yeah. Time to get all those quick hits in. Oops, okay, Waka still alive, at least. No water life. We'll need to survive one more turn. Okay, Daigoro again. Rico this time. Okay. A little bit potion. Maybe I should resort my item list. So that I can get access to soft immediately. I kinda need to use Entrust on Riku. Well, she can survive. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try it. Or we can have first strike on Tidus. Do I see that first strike on him? Mm, that's for Kimari, Dragoon Dance. Let's see. Make damage limit. Counter attack, magic counter. Don't need those. We have first strike. Capture first strike. Okay. We will then trust. Then Hyper Mighty G. Then we switch to his Celestial Weapon. Once he gets a turn. And trust to Riku. Unless she gets a full overdrive. Which city is this weapon? Hey, Goro. Nice. Keep on attacking, Tidus. I'm still wasting a turn for those Antidote and Soft. Would be much, much faster if we don't keep using them. You know what? Let's use this, right? Because what if Rekojimo uses Wakizashi? This will deal around more damage. 
around 40k, or well, around 39k, but so 390,000, more than that. So we got the hundreds digit. Daigoro, okay, Tidus. Rico this time. Understood. I really should consider using... Stone Proof. It's not gonna be her permanent armor anyway. I'll just use it to make this fight easier. Nice. Although for the next battle, none of their overdrives are full. Mm, Nemesis Rod. I don't need it. Why do we keep getting weapons instead of armors? Counter attack and magic counter. Also, weirdly enough, we keep getting drops for our bench party members. Yuna. You, 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 Yuna. Yeah, we can't really transfer anything. So we'll go with them. Let's cast Taste. If it use if it uses Wakizashi, then oh well. Oh, there you go. Rick is still alive, barely hanging in there. I don't have quick pockets. Oh no. Do I have life? No. <laughs> Can we get another turn? Okay. It's time. Azuka, I think that party member will be dead. Not enough to survive it. left for Waka. Okay. Rico's gonna get killed as well. See? Her overdrive didn't charge. Doesn't make sense. Now I'm dead. I'm dead here. I have a feeling I'm dead here. Do we pay your Jimbo? Let's pay your Jimbo. Let's see if he will use Zenmato. Bad RNG for me. Let's see. Do not attack, okay. <laughs> Don't need your free turn. Now bask on Gil. Zenmato. For 400,000. Drop an armor, come on, come on. Drop an armor for my main party. Well, if you drop one for someone else, then I will be forced to grind for that party member. Just not Kimari, okay? I don't have. I don't even have an AP weapon for him yet. Medical arm rep. Master Sphere. Oh, need to discard now. Well, we can discard 
this? We don't need that. I need to sell. That's 400,000 deal down the drain. Overdrive's not full again. Well, it says overdrive is full. So let's have first strike weapon. First strike, not initiative. I thought I was done for. Thanks, Yojimbo. Okay, the first that I can do around two runs. A total of eight battles in 40 minutes. And based on what it looks like based on my timer. Will be faster, of course, without me talking. Okay, Kazuka and Riku. Hmm, maybe I should try defending before Waka and Tidus' turn ends. So that they can survive Waka's Ashi. If we use Overdrive, it will still get a turn. 19 to the side now. 19 to the side. Never mind. Don't mind me. Just thinking if it will be worth it to use this overdrive. Oh, Rico has slow. Damn. I didn't notice. Also has virus breaks. Let's just guard. 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 Stone. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This could be bad. Still not going down. Damn. We need to use Zen Metal again. Crap. Tidus, Tidus, Tidus. Nice. Mm, Riku, grip and pepperonis. They can do it. The power of quick hit. You live in the power of quick hit. Rip to Riku. Okay, let's use attack reels. You should be dead, right? From attack reels. Did he get a drop for Waka now? This will be around 400,000. There you go. Well, Riku might be dead. We still managed to beat him. They got dealt 10,999 damage because Riku got armor break. No, I don't need that rookie star. Overdrive to AP, I don't need it. I'll just restart here. I'm not really looking forward to farming Dark Matters. Well, not for now. Even if we got 85. <laughs> well, we can customize. Mm. If only we could didn't get a curse proof on our armor. Like, only break HP limit. I would be customizing Reborn. Anyway, so basically that's how my farm is going to go. For Darker Jimbo. It will get easier as we get more armor drops, the armor drops that we need for our main, char main characters. Then once we get the ones for these three, the ones for this will be even easier because we can just keep on spamming quick it without relying so much on Rico's overdrive. There you have it. Like what I said, do not battle the last I mean, do not finish the last encounter with the gym bow. When you go all the way towards the entrance, you will have another battle with him because if you defeat him there, then that means 
Mikey will no longer be able to farm Dragogene though. 